All right, so we're recording and I'm actually going to introduce myself because I have an idea that I might share this with um, people that don't really know me yet. And I've had some questions around our lenses document and how to um, how to do a deep dive really into, into using our lenses document. And I do have another training in which the, the lenses part is a portion of that, but I thought it would be worthwhile to actually just create a training around that. So, um, and um, maybe this will all blow up in my face, but I've, a lot of men come to me, um, you know, and they're looking for partners online. Obviously, you know, I'm very happily married. I've got two beautiful children, but I, I believe that I can, I can possibly help these people, you know, attract to themselves and create for themselves what it is that they desire. Like I'm a success coach and the principles apply in any area of life. So I thought it could be fun to create a training today um, around attracting the perfect soulmate into our life and creating, creating that for ourselves. So let's, let's just dive in. Right. Okay. Some of you who are listening have done this many times before, but it um, is always good for you to do this. So <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is write the acronym PERMASH, P-E-R-M-A-A-S-H. H. Just write that down. You can pause this recording and go, go grab a pen and paper because this is key. Okay. Don't miss any of these bits. If you do, I can't help you. Sorry. You know, I can, I can only give you guys the information and stand here as a testament to the process. Obviously I'm a product of the process and my process. Um, so if you don't do the work, you know, sorry, I can't help you. All right. So the question I have for you is, how satisfied are you in this particular area of life? Not how do you rate yourself compared to Bob or compared to Joe, you know, how satisfied are you in this particular area of life? Okay, here we go. So the first is positive emotions. How satisfied are you with your positive emotions on a scale of one to 10? One being really not satisfied at all and you pretty much don't have positive emotions at all. 10 being, 100% satisfied with your positive emotions. Remember, it's not what it, and it's not about how much positive emotions you think you should have. You know, I know people who are so like effervescent and over the moon bubbly, and I just don't want to be that. That's not me, you know. So, how happy are you with your positive emotions? One to 10. Okay, the next one is engagement in life. How satisfied are you with your engagement in life? One to 10. Whatever comes to mind first. Don't try and break it down or did it, you know, it depends if this and that just boom, whatever the first number is that comes to mind. Okay, the next one is relationships. How satisfied are you with your relationships? One to 10. The next one, money. How satisfied are you with your financial position right now? One to 10. Next one is um, achievements. How satisfied are you, are you with your achievements? Could be achievements today, could be achievements in life in general. It doesn't matter. Whatever comes to mind, it's like how you're feeling right now. How satisfied, the next A, how satisfied are you with your appearance? Remember, it's not how you should be, whatever. It's how satisfied are you with your appearance? And I like to, um, yes, define that like how we think about ourselves physically, but more to the point, you know, how satisfied are we that we're showing up as the version of ourselves that we know we're capable of? Mm. All right, so the next one, one's 10, how satisfied are you with your spirit, spirituality? So it doesn't necessarily mean you need to be religious, doesn't necessarily mean you need to do, be doing yoga and, and meditation all the time, but how connected are you? How connected do you feel to the planet, to other people, to everything around us, and to yourself? And the last one is uh, health. 
on a scale of one to 10, how satisfied are you with your health? All right, so it's not a competition, it's just an awareness exercise, but it gives us a really, really good place to, place to start. Um, right, now I've got another question for you. Are you ready? It's a great, great question. What's the one thing that by so doing, everything else becomes easier or irrelevant? What's the one thing that by so doing, everything else becomes easier or irrelevant? And it might be top of mind, or you might need to pause this recording and have a good think about what that could be. All right, so most of you should have an answer now. And my guess, is that it falls into one of those categories, positive emotions, engagement in life, relationships, money, um, achievements, appearance, spirit, or health. Now, a few guys who are looking for a, um, you know, a partner, and of course this, is, this applies to, to women as well, just, just so happens that men are looking for a partner and I, I guess they assume that perhaps I could be one, but uh, this definitely applies across the board. So, and even if, you know, if relationships is not your one thing, everything that I teach today will still be really useful. All right. So let's say you've said, I want to find an incredible partner. Great. Okay. Good. Now that we've got that one domino. Okay. So the way I focus, the way I coach is not necessarily a very comfortable way. Um, I very much believe in counterbalance rather than balance. So if you're looking to live a balanced life, especially for the next month, year, however long it's gonna take for you to knock that big domino down, I'm not the coach for you, all right? I just, I just wanna say that up front because, yeah, it's just, it's just not how I, how I do things. It's like, okay, what is our big domino? It's going to take some time, effort, money, focus, energy to knock that big thing down. But if we knock that big thing down, all that other stuff is going to be taken care of. So generally that means a period, an interim period of things not necessarily being balanced. Okay, so I just want to sort of, if we move forwards to ask your permission, are you open to existing in an unbalanced way, perhaps for a little while, you know, and it's up to you, of course, you're the captain of your own ship. So you can always try it. And if you don't like it, then, you know, find another ship and that's fine. All right. So next thing I want to do is let's, it's another awareness exercise. Um, I call it the kitchen table exercise. Usually when I meet a client for the first time, uh, we talk just about their life in general. Um, but because you've already identified a one thing, we're going to use the kitchen table exercise for just our one thing. So what, what I want you to do is grab a, another piece of paper, make sure it's like empty and you've got plenty of space to draw on it. Here's, I chose one here and it's got a <laughs> crazy picture of a turtle. I didn't know that was there. Kids. All right, so you've got your big your piece of paper and I want you just to um, like draw across through the middle so you divide it into four quadrants. Okay, now as we think about your goal, your one thing, and um, for most of you it's attract a new partner and that, that you like and is gonna stay with you for, you know, fulfill your desires, whatever they are. Okay, so what are all the things that you've currently got going for you when it comes to this goal that you wanna keep? And I just invite you to um, press pause in this recording and that way I can, um, I can charge through it for those of you who have already done this exercise. 
Okay, now remembering our goal, the one thing, what's all the things that um, you want to just let go of? You know, maybe, maybe you've got 20 kilos to let go of. If you could just put it in the trash just like that, what would that be? You know, maybe it's a temper. Maybe it's, um, you know, constantly being negative, seeing the worst in people. Maybe it's your debt. Whatever. It should be top of mind. It should be easy. Just the stuff like it. literally, I've, if I say to you, you have the power, just put it in the trash. Just jot those down. Okay, the next one is fix and improve. What would you not really want to get rid of, but what needs a bit of a tune up? What could be better? And the final one, and this is very cool, what would you add? Now, to do this exercise correctly, imagine this whole thing is just like a simulation, all right? You're in a game and you have the power to add anything that you want. What would you add? And don't worry about the how, because the how can be figured out. Don't worry about the buts or the little voices in your head that say you shouldn't ask for that or that's the wrong thing or you'll never get that or any of that. It's just a game. We're just playing. What would you add? I did this exercise um, not quite a year ago now and one of the things that came to mind was an Afghan hound, you know, and then of course the voices come in. But what about all the, you know, the up, the, the care and you know where am I even going to get an Afghan hound from and what about the cat and what about our other dog and da 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 okay doesn't mean maybe an Afghan hound is not the right thing to have right now but it doesn't mean that it can't be part of my future sometime and maybe maybe I don't want that anymore but that's what I wanted at the time you know and that's cool it's a very exciting exercise to just open yourself up to possibility Because when we're doing this, what's happening is we're tapping into the essence of you. You're getting in touch with you, who it is that you really are. What brings you to life? Because any ladies looking at this and probably guys, you'll, you'll see this as well. Like if we think about a man or a woman who experience positive emotions regularly, they're more happy than not happy. Okay. They're engaged in their life. They've got shit going on and they love it. You know, They're, they have good relationships. The people around them in general are happy. They like being around them. Okay, they're financially okay. Maybe, you know, sometimes men and women, there's a little bit of a gender difference there. Maybe there's not. Maybe if you're a guy, you really want a woman who's actually financially independent. Or maybe that doesn't matter so much. Or vice versa. Okay. And, you know, a man or a woman who is, feel like they can do shit. You know, they, they get stuff done. They, they achieve things in their life. And it doesn't matter. And it's not stuff that other people think they should be doing. They do what they want to do. They're filling their cup. All right. And someone who looks good, they're showing up in the world daily as a confident, powerful, compassionate, intelligent person. They care about themselves and it shows. What about someone who's deeply connected to their spirit? And when someone is connected to their spirit, what that means is they're not looking for anybody else 
to fill them up. They're not looking for anybody else to complete them because that is a very, very unfair position to ever put somebody in. If you put your happiness hat on someone else's head, that is a unkind thing to do. And it is the cause of so much relationship breakdown. Okay, but if you find someone who's connected to whatever it is that fills them up, they're connected to themselves, they are, um, their happiness comes from within, Ha, huh. isn't that a nice feeling that you don't have to fulfill them or make them whole or behave in the right way to make them happy? Like they're their own autonomous, happy person. And they're healthy. Now, have I not just described the picture of an attractive person to you? All right, so we've got, we've done that per mesh. We know sort of areas that probably need some work to attract, because you know, you're not satisfied with these areas. So you know that there's still work to be done and this is part of your potential. It's not like you'll never achieve those things because you wouldn't have the desire for them if it was not part of your potential. Okay, it's really important to know. Right, but there's still some work to be done and we've all got work to be done. You know, I don't score myself 10 across the board daily. I do this exercise daily, by the way. Um, usually it's usually sort of between seven and 10 for me, just so you know, but it's not a competition, it's subjective. Okay, so we know there's some work to be done and you've probably already on your kitchen table exercise jotted a few things down that relate to that work to be done. All right, so let's talk about how to create success. And now we know what we wanna create success in. And we could just take the, the one thing, um, I want to create success in my relationships. Or you could take one of those things from your kitchen table exercise and get really specific and say, hey, I wanna create success around losing 20 kilos. The principles apply, macro, micro, it's very exciting. Okay, so now this is my own theory, um, <clears throat> which of course is based on other theories and bits and pieces, but you know, the extent of my knowledge so far, knowledge being uh, things that appear to be true, or um, you know, it's quite likely that we're just making this whole thing up. So ways of looking at things that work well for my experience of life, um, are the following. So here is what I feel creates success in any area of life. So I, I call it the seven alignments to success. And um, the principle is that each of these things need to be pointing in the direction of your goal. Otherwise, they're going to be pulling you away from the direction of your goal, like tent pegs. And you'll find yourself well and truly stuck or making very, very slow progress towards where it is that you say you want to go. All right, so you ready for this? Okay, so the first thing that needs to be in alignment is our conscious mind. So long as you guys are a relatively sound mind and that your goal of finding a life partner seems like a good idea to you, got that pretty much nailed. Or if t losing 20 kilos seems like a good idea. Yep, tick, great. Okay, the next thing is our subconscious mind. Okay, our subconscious mind is big. <laughs> but it's not immovable. You know, there's all these analogies and drawings out there of you know the iceberg and you've got the tip of the iceberg and this huge big bit underneath the ocean and it's true it is true but um fortunately we have our conscious mind as well we do have free will so if we are not exercising our free will yes our subconscious is a big problem and it completely runs the show so just to give a bit of bit of context to that as well. Um, our subconscious mind, they say, is up to or more than a million times 
um, stronger or powerful as far as processing power than our conscious mind. And up to 95% of the time, we're operating on our subconscious programs. And just to give you a little bit of insight, you know, they've, they've done research and found out that decisions that we think we're making rationally are often made up to seven seconds earlier in our subconscious mind. And then we, we rationalize why we make that decision. So yes, our subconscious mind is a big thing, but it's not immovable. I just want you to know that. Okay. So that's my training around the subconscious mind. Um, I've got a lot of powerful training. It's the most powerful training I've seen. Doesn't mean there isn't others out there, but it's very cutting edge. Um, and it, it gives like neuroscientific precision precision with combined with that processing power of the subconscious mind um, to actually change your programs. I've never seen anything that changes subconscious programs so quickly and swiftly, powerfully, gently and easily as the method that I'm trained in. So just want you to know that. Um, okay, so we need to make sure that our subconscious mind, we aren't blocking ourselves. We haven't got fears that are really getting in the way of where it is that we truly want to go. We haven't got family um, rules and expectations and things that are really like standing in the way of who it is that we want to be. All of this stuff are habits. All of this stuff belongs in our subconscious. So we need to make sure that our subconscious is unhooked from all that stuff that's keeping us stuck in the past. All right, and you can do it. I've got the tools to, to unhook you, so just know that. Okay, the next thing is our heart and soul, and this is the big one. This is the trump card, all right? And it can be disruptive. A lot of business coaches won't go there because it could mean they shut a business down and business coaches think they're there to get the business going, you know? But what is it that you truly desire? Because if you're out there in the world doing things that you should be doing, is the responsible thing to do, da, 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 but you're not putting any energy into what you're truly here to do, that would truly fill you up, that's really just an expression of who you are. Maybe it's building your own house. Maybe it's, I don't know, doing the Cape to Cape walk. I don't know. What is that for you, though? Because if you're not doing that, that's always going to be there. You're always going to know that you're not doing what you really want to be doing. Or if you didn't, now you do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so we really want to be checking, like, what is it that you really want to be doing? And yes, it might not be practical to just jump from one thing to the other, but we can start, like, like we can take that spark and we can energize it and we can grow it and we can find a way to bring more of that into your life until that you're living more of that and less of that. Okay. So probably so far you've got a tick for conscious mind. You've got a probably a cross for subconscious mind, a tick for heart and soul because we're talking about finding our life partners here. Okay. And Okay, so what's the next one is our biology. Now, a lot of these things touch each other as well. They're not in neat little boxes. But our biology, obviously, firstly, is our health. Are we in vibrant health? Are we doing at least what we can to be in the best health that we can find ourselves in? And then also, I'm going to talk more kind of like who we're being because there is a biological aspect to that as well and um, Dr. Bruce Lipton is the guy to follow if you want more scientific information on this but essentially we get addicted so there are there are chemicals that flood through our body um, which are tied to different feelings you know so if we're used to feeling angry all the time guess what we're addicted to that feeling and how this actually works is in our cells, we have what's called, so on the, on the cell wall, there are what's called receptor sites. And this is so interesting. Okay. And these receptor sites are like keys 
and they um, they're different shapes. So when we send one of these these chemical signals through our body, they wash over the cell. And let's say it's let's say it's angry, you know, this feeling of angry, and it washes over. And the receptor site for angry allows that feeling to enter our cell. And we become angry. Now what happens over time is our cells become optimized for those feelings. So what will happen is that you're like, oh man, I've got to stop being angry. And then you do. You do the work and you engage your, your conscious mind um, and through willpower al alone, you stop being angry. But what happens is we're actually, as cells are missing its fix of that particular chemical and it's gonna, your body, in cahoots with your subconscious mind is going to do everything it can to get back to that place of homeostasis, the thing that it's used to, stay the same, and you're going to sabotage yourself so you can feel angry again. So the antidote for that is A, you know, a lot of that subconscious change work, but also B is we can again engage our conscious mind and choose to feel the opposite of angry, whatever that is, peace, joy, happiness. We can, through willpower, flood our bodies with those chemicals and attune ourselves to other feelings and wean ourselves off those old feelings that we're so addicted to. And we all have our favorite flavors of suffering. All right, so it's really good to have your awareness or have awareness of what yours is. Okay, so don't go beating yourself up around, oh my God, I'm addicted to anger or whatever. It's like, that's cool. It's good. Like we all have them. I used to have money stuff. All right, so we've got a conscious mind. Tick. Subconscious mind's probably uh -uh. heart and soul. Tick. Biology, my guess is, is not 100%. Just guessing, <laughs> but I'm guessing, uh, you let me know, tell me if I'm wrong or not. Um, now the next one is our strategy. What do we actually do in the world to create success for ourselves? If your idea of going and meeting a partner is your idea of success in the world, yet you're not out in the universe some way bumping up against other people, your strategy is not supporting you. And again, this is how I coach as well. So just to know, I very much believe in the magnetic aspect, the woo-woo, the energetic stuff. We attract to ourselves that which we are like, like being our biology. And I'm going to talk more about this in a minute, how we're feeling, who we are being at that time. So if you're an angry person, got all this like shit going on subconsciously, that's who you're going to attract into your life. And no bloody... Um, <laughs> Like it's no mystery that that is an unhappy, volatile, shitty relationship. But, you know, if you're being that level 10 permash version of yourself, most of the time, and we all fall off our ponies from time to time, and that's normal, it's part of the process, but it, the, you, you fall off and you get back on, you fall off and you get back on, you fall off and you get back on. Eventually, you're on more than you're off. Eventually you're on a lot more than you're off. Eventually being off will feel so awful to you that you know how just how to get back on straight away. All right, so when two of those Permash 10 people meet, oh, how good does that feel? Like I know that you can even feel that in your heart, like how the truth of that which is exciting because you just touched in with your intuition as well. But you can tell. It's got nothing to do with what we're thinking right now. You're like, oh, yes. All right, so we need to make sure our strategy is right. Are you doing the right things? Applies in business, applies in health, applies in marriage, applies across the board. So what I was talking about was my the way I think uh, operate in the world. So yes, the energetic stuff, tick, 
50%. The other 50% is here in the real world. It's how we build a house. How do we build a house? We get bricks, we get mortar, we get a trowel. We probably employ someone to do it because I'm not the one to build the house. Um, it's real world stuff. And the way I coach is one foot in the woo-woo, one foot in 3D land. So again, if that doesn't feel like you, if you're more woo-woo than 3D, you'll, you'll get frustrated with me. But if you're in more in woo-woo but are prepared to maybe play in 3D a little bit more, well, then that's good. And if you're in 3D and if, if you don't even know what I'm talking about, that's fine. Like just, it's just the world that we live in. Um, and the energetic stuff is kind of like out there and, and weird and strange, but you're open to exploring that a little bit more, well, then that's awesome. We're in a really good place. So just know that as well so if you're like no that woo, woo stuff is bullshit is not for me like i'm not for you and if you're like ah oh, it's only i just can sit on a rock and manifest anything that i desire all the time and i don't have to do hard work and i don't need to focus and da, 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 i'm possibly not for you either so i think the real secret as far as i can see is one foot firmly in either camp Okay, so that takes us to strategy. So that's why strategy is important. And these lenses documents, which this training is all around, is going to be important for you as well. All right, now the next thing. So we've done conscious mind, tick. Subconscious mind, uh -uh. heart and soul, tick. Biology, uh -uh. strategy, I don't know, you tell me. Are you doing the right things? You can be doing all the right things and completely just not have... The, the subconscious stuff sorted so you're not going to get the results you want okay the next one is environment two factors to our environment well there there are lots actually so one could be the country that you live in and the laws that are in that country and it might be stuff you can change and maybe it's not you know it can be the stuff that's around you you know even just just here i have a book which um every day i turn the page and it's got beautiful maori um um proverbs and sayings. So this one is about engagement and it says a kite that is slackened off flies away and each page and it's got these beautiful pictures from um, you know a long time ago in New Zealand. Hey that that feeds me. I have um, a statue. Oh it's broken um, so I won't move it but it's a statue of a hare which is representative of um, money and has been instrumental in me changing my money story. And that's there in my environment because it feeds me. It reminds me, it's there in the background. I have books in the background. I have a beautiful picture in front of me that is by a local artist of Mount Taranaki, which is just over there. You know, it's not a cheap painting. This is my environment. I curate my environment. Now we can also talk about the people that we're moving around. Okay, so if you're single and you wanna find a woman or a man, how are your friends, you know? Are they being the type of awesome catch that a man or woman is looking for? Or are they just not in that space yet? Is that not their reality? Who are you, like, it's so important who you're hanging around. It's no mistake they say you are the sum total of the five people you spend the most time with. The good news is that a lot of our environment we can curate. And once we've done it, it just hums along in the background and it has a big impact and a big influence. All right. And then the final one is that vibration. And I already spoke to that. You know, are we being the person now who has that which we want? Because there's no point in saying, when I have the beautiful woman, then I'll be happy. Again, putting that happiness hat on someone else's head. She is not going to touch that in a million years unless she's got her own stuff going on too in which case you're going to have a volatile unhappy relationship and when you are 
that permash level 10, when you are feeling good, when you are on your heart's true path, when you are connected to yourself and finding that intrinsic motivation, you're going to be happy. It won't matter if she hasn't shown up yet. Doesn't mean that you don't want it to, Stella. It's still cool. Like, how awesome would that be? But you're good. You're good. She's more likely to show up once you are that person. All right. So now what I'd like you to do as you think about your one thing, either, you know, on the high level view or the, the micro, I want you to see and scan those alignments so you can rate yourself. How aligned are you? Conscious mind, tick. Subconscious mind, no, um, probably. Heart and soul, yes. Biology, probably not. Um, strategy, I don't know. You tell me. Environment, you tell me. And vibration. So you should have some very clear things that you now know that you need to work around to move yourself closer to being the person who attracts the kind of person that you want to attract into your life. Now, that was a lot of background info, but it's all vitally important. So let's dive into strategy, okay? I've got stuff for all those other things I've got solutions for, okay? So if you need solutions for those, just let me know, okay? I'll, I'll send you free resources if we, we've only just met. Or if you're already part of our ecosystem, um, <clears throat> I'll just guide you to the, the resources that you have access to. Okay, so um, I'm going to share my screen. And might as well go to League of Champions. So League of Champions is a free Facebook group that I run. And we look at success as a holistic thing, not in a way that it's all yoga and essential oils, in that you need to have those alignments in place. I mean, it's always a bit of a, you know, don't wanna have conversations out there for the world to see. Okay, um, right. So all this stuff I talked about is what League of Champions is about. So if you're not a member of League of Champions, um, either. I'll put a link to it or just ask me. Um, you can come and be a member of it. How it works is um, it's free. And we've got a bunch of coaches who have expertise in those different areas. And they're providing education daily. They're alive. And, and I'm actually recording this for my life today. So if you want other educational videos, um, information, etc., just join the group. This is how it works. Um, and we'll give you a ton of free stuff. And then if you want specific help, just put your hand up and we will uh, connect you with resources. Right. But what I want to show you is League of Champions paid group. So we have a number of different memberships and our entry level membership starts at only $9.95 New Zealand per week. So in US, that's like $6.50. And the way we scale it or the way we price it is um, if it's scalable then the price is less to the degree that it's scalable of so um, what we do is all of our programs all of our pre-recorded material we make available at that lowest level entry point so we've got, um, there's Magnetic Mind, which is a 13-week transformational course. We've got A Man of Magnitude, which is a 22-week transformational self-mastery and leadership course for men. Uh, we've got in there How to, How to Land Amazing Jobs. Um, uh, there's a, a powerful mindset mini course around how to be authentically powerful in your life. Um, I do some stuff around money, income creation. So all of that, if it's pre-recorded, if it doesn't matter how many people we've got, like that's available to you. Um, so, and then after that we do groups and then that's a, there's a, there's a price increase with that. And then we do one-on-one -on -one, and of course there's a price increase with that as well because it's less scalable. So that's how we model, um, uh, our transformational solutions in League of Champions. But let's go to 
our lenses document. Here it is right at the beginning at the top because you all use them or once you're, once you're part of our paid group you do because this is how I coach people. Okay, so now we've done that little precursor uh, training, a lot of this stuff will be quick and easy for you to fill in. Okay, so you can fill these things in. Okay, some of them, yes, fulfillment is going to be absolutely relevant to attracting the perfect partner. Finances, maybe, might not be. You know, um, family, or I want to interact others by, I want to give is. This stuff is kind of relevant. So just take some time to fill it out because it might prompt some new stuff for you. But don't. Don't get bogged down in it. Okay. Same with this. Now this, just to give you a bit of a backstory, this comes from a fast track business, obviously not League of Champions or Stellar Humans, which is me. Um, this comes from one of the certifications I received uh, called Magnetic Mind. Now I will be creating my own version of this um, and I have the license to do so. I just haven't yet. So parts of this, I give more uh, energy to and some of it less. So when we're starting talking about these three passions, you know, we're talking about living a more balanced life. And the way this guy teaches is he teaches more balance. It's okay, we, we get some fitness in and we do this. Da, 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 da. Um, whereas I, I try to ease away from trying to install balance all at once because all you end up doing is just desiccating your focus and diluting your focus. I would much rather sort the money thing out, then sort the relationships out, then sort the fitness out, or other way around. I would always go for fitness, by the way. Health trumps everything. I'm a mindset coach, and if your health is shit, your mindset's gonna be shit, I'm sorry. And I know health coaches do it the other way around, they say mindset comes first, but you know, it's this constant battle that we have, okay? So, please do not try and earn money. Um, and completely sacrifice your health. I am not saying that. Health first, guys. Right, just make sure you got that. All right. Okay, one mentor who I want to, where I want to be is, this is all really useful stuff. Uh, one tribe who I, are on the same path as me that I can hang around is, League of Champions, hopefully, but that's when I'm talking about environment. You know, really, really important. One mentee who can show the way is, maybe it's me, maybe it's someone else. Oh, sorry, um, mentee. So that's one of the most useful ways to learn something is to actually teach it as well. So it's a nice little exercise. Maybe there is somebody in your environment who, like you, perhaps isn't a great fit for that environment anymore. You can really provide a lot of value and um, make a great contribution to the world by helping this person learn what you're learning as you are on a similar path, you know, because we all are just on a, a path and most of us want to help the people who are behind us on that same path, you know, so I've tried to, I've tried to deflect people who might not be on my path already. So if you're still here, it's likely that you're on my path and I want to help, you know, more than likely you're going to want to pass that on as well. Okay. Three new skills. You can add this in again, awareness. It's always worthwhile doing. Morning routine is important, but I'm not going to do a training on morning routine today. Suffice it to say that starting your day as you mean to go on is something extraordinarily powerful. And lenses are a big part of our morning routine always. Or they're already done by the time you wake up because they're a part of your evening routine. Okay. So yes, there are other things you may wanna add in to your morning routine. Planning is essential. Okay, so here we go. Create our one year objectives. Okay, maybe there's a financial thing. Other, one year from now, what would prove to you that you've moved forwards towards your vision? Giving yourself higher permash scores perhaps. Maybe you've lost 20 kilos. You know, maybe the woman is in your life, maybe, You've had a few come through that weren't quite it, but pretty damn close, you know?
All right, it's a really good question. Okay, so now we go creating 90 day targets. Okay, we're talking about milestones here. So you've got this one year objective. This is what you'd like to be. You wanna be this person that attracts that person. In order to do that, if that person is 20 kilos lighter, this stuff you're gonna have to do. If that person has sorted out their subconscious triggers and is no longer angry anymore, this stuff you're gonna have to do. If that person out there has interacted with 300 other women or men out there, there's something you're gonna have to do. There's stuff you have to do. All right, so what are the things that you have to do? And what you can do here is before creating one year objecti objectives and 90 day targets, you can list out all of the things that you have to do. And I do this, I do this daily, like here's my one for today, my lenses document. Okay, I've got a whole book of lenses, all the things that I have to do in order to get where I want to go. There's a kitchen table exercise there as well, see? I do it myself. Okay, so once you've done all of that, what are your 90 day goals? What are the milestones that you need to move through that'll let you know that you're on track? Okay, so let's forget about all the rest of the stuff for now. Just decide, you know, what, what's worthwhile achieving in 90 days? What can you do? And again, what's the one thing that by so doing will make everything else easier or irrelevant? Never forget that question. So if it's health for you, it's health. Okay, and that comes first. Okay, I don't even worry about what could you do, what will you do, because we already did the could stuff. You know all the stuff that you could do that needs to be done? So I literally just want to dive straight in. Okay, what will you do in the next 90 days to move towards your one-year objective? Okay, and you've got two, two things here. Okay, maybe it's lose 20 pounds and... 20 kilos and what else would you like to do? You'd like to um, clear a lot of your subconscious blocks. Okay. You want to feel angry less of the time than not. All right. Very specific goals. Okay. There's going to be stuff you have to do. You're going to have to go into some sessions. You're going to have to work on your subconscious blocks. You're going to maybe have to get a coach. Right, the stuff you gotta do. Once this stuff is written down, you can't unsee it. You can see why I love this document so much because when we coach together, it's like, show me your lenses document. And it's literally, I can see the stuff that you need to do and more to the point, I can see what you're avoiding and there's usually some subconscious stuff to be done around that. There's some work to be done around the stuff that you're avoiding. So that's why we um, write it all down. Okay, so in order to, this shouldn't be lots, by the way, one or two, because if you, <laughs> I tell you, if you've got lots written here and here, by the time you get to your daily goals, it's just a mess. If you can just have your one thing, what's the one thing that by so doing that you just love to achieve, that's going to like have this domino effect on other areas of your life. If losing 20 kilos is that, just make it that, just have one thing, lose 20 kilos. but you get to choose, okay? Three max. All right, so. Again, I don't really, I don't use this column here, what could you do in the next 30 days? It's literally, what do you need to do? What are you going to do in order to reach those objectives?
You're going to eat better. What's that? That's not specific enough. What is eating better? I'm going to cut out 50% of my carbs. Or I am going to have a conversation with AJ or Remus, who is our League of Champions biohacker. And if you are committed to this outcome and you have the financial resources to make it happen, and you just haven't really connected with the right person yet, I guarantee you AJ is one of the best in the world. Maybe having a conversation with him, maybe jumping onto his program is what you need to do. He's an excellent coach, by the way, as well. So yes, he'll sort your biology out to like the max, but um, he's also got the coaching abilities as well. I can't recommend AJ highly enough. So if you want his details and they're not apparent, just let me know and I'll pass them on. Um, all right. Be specific. Don't say, I'm just going to eat better because then you'll be able to say to yourself, oh, well, I ate better, but you can't actually measure it. It's like, stuff you can measure. I'm going to eat salad at lunchtime every weekday. Whatever. It has to be specific stuff. Okay. Then what is a weekly milestone? Okay. So let's say creating 30 day, 30 day goals is, you know, you've completely changed your eating patterns, your habits, what do you have to do this week? Seven days of salad or whatever. What will you do this week to move you towards your goals? All right, don't worry about the action plan. I never worry about that one. Okay, then we go to daily planning. This is part of your daily morning routine. Okay. Referencing your weekly sheet, which references your monthly sheet, which references your quarterly sheet, which references your yearly sheet. All right. What are you going to do today? As I showed you. I've got a bunch of stuff here <clears throat> that I want to do today that references the stuff that I want to achieve by the week, which talks to the stuff I want to achieve by the month, which talks to the stuff that I want to achieve by the year. Okay. And then literally you cross it off. And then if you've got someone who you're accountable to, again, I love being accountability buddy, um, not just to, to cause you not angst, but you know, to make you uncomfortable, but because I can actually help. Okay. So we don't use our lenses document to beat ourselves up around the head with, by the way, because generally you won't get it all done. And it's not, you don't go and then go, Oh, I'm such a loser because I didn't get all this stuff done because you know what your one thing is. You prioritize this list, by the way, your daily list. I have mine prioritized from one through to eight. So if I know that I get my number one thing done, that's taking me the furthest towards my goal. And if I only get one thing done, at least I've made a significant stride towards my goal for the day. Okay. <clears throat> but also we get to see what we haven't been doing. So I've got this thing on my lenses document, get affiliates going. For some reason, I've had this circled as undone on my lenses document for about six weeks now, and it was my intention to get it done in the first week. So I get to really have a look at that, and it's my focus for this week. That has to happen. If that doesn't happen, I'm not going to meet my financial goals. It's that simple. So there are no excuses. All right, so this is our lenses document, and at the end is a weekly review. You can, I oh, don't worry about that one. Um, gratitude, etc. that's part of our morning routine and I've got a separate training um, for that, but morning routine is always very personal as well. I think it's useful to start with something that is a framework and then you get to tweak it and add to it so that it feels awesome for you and it works really well for you. All right. So, 
scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Eventually, weekly review. Take your time to review what went right. What is a clear constraint? It's a specific, um, it's a specific question. Clear constraint in the way of targets and goals. Because that's what we want to get out of the way. Now, it doesn't mean that in the executing of your plan, that other opportunities don't come your way. They will. So you get to adjust. This thing is like a um, ballistic missile. So I think this is such a great, um, a great analogy in that a ballistic missile apparently is off target just about always. But it reaches its target by micro adjustments, constant micro adjustments. And that's what we're doing here. You know, so we get to see, and we also get to track progress against time. So if we say, hey, I wanted to lose 20 kilos in 90, 90 days, and that really means by, you know, at the end of the month that I probably at least want to have like eight gone. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not AJ. AJ is the one to help you with this. But let's say you say it's eight, and then you get to the end of the month, and you're tracking your progress, and you haven't lost eight kilos. You get to A, decide if you move the goalposts, or B, decide if your strategy is wrong or there's something else that you need to do. All right, this is the pathway to success. Okay, it's not just the lenses though. Remember, that's just strategy. That's one out of seven things. And I'm just teaching you this part. You've got to get those seven things in alignment but this is a big part of it because if you do all the rest and you're not doing this, screw it, this is pointless. You'll, maybe you'll get there eventually, but it'll be a bit willy nilly and um, it feels good. It feels good to make progress towards your goals and be able to actually see how far you've come. So long as you don't use this document to tell yourself you're a loser by looking at what you haven't done, okay? It's just information and you get to celebrate what you have done. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you haven't actually got access to this document, um, there's not a button or anything nearby, just let me know and I will give it to you for free. Very happy to do that. And if you want to have a conversation about possibly working together through any of our products, remember it only starts at $6.50 a week. Um, again, just let me know and happy to, happy to have a conversation, answer any questions, um, see if we're a match. So that wraps me up for today. One full hour training on how to attract the most amazing, beautiful, grounded, fulfilled, energetic, loving, caring, compassionate person you could imagine. So, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. If you think it's rubbish, let me know. I think this is the best stuff that I know so far. Um, and it's my pleasure to share it with you. So I hope it helps and wishing you a wonderful day. See you.